Hey everybody, it's Charlotte. Today on Maker's Moments, we'll be showing you how to properly melt candle wax and how not to. Wax is the biggest component that you will use in your candle, so you wanna make sure it's treated just right. When melting your wax, it's important to make sure that you're using the proper tools. We recommend using a double boiler. A double boiler is a stove safe pot filled with water and then a pouring pitcher is placed inside. The Wooden Wick Co. sells both small and large pouring pitchers. We've included the links for you below. Before beginning any candle making project, there are a few things that you should keep in mind. First, be sure to check with the manufacturer of your wax for that wax's specific melt and pour temperatures. The temperature at which you add your fragrance can be dependent on that fragrance's flash point. The best way to melt your wax is with a double boiler or with a water jacketed wax melter, only if you happen to be making a lot of candles. This way, the water heats the wax evenly and no parts melt significantly faster than others. The microwave does work in a pinch, but just be sure to thoroughly stir your wax once it's melted so that if it's a blend, which most waxes are, that all ingredients are completely combined. Ready to put your newfound knowledge into practice? What do you use to melt your candle wax and why? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay in the know on all the latest makers tips and tricks. See you next time on Makers Moments. Happy making!